Hey guys, I'm Benson Rice and welcome to another video in the RSP Supply Education Series. In this video, we'll discuss the basics of cellular antennas, their functions, and how they work to enable us to stay connected. The antennas work by transmitting and receiving signals to and from wireless devices, which are then sent to the nearest cell tower in an area, and then repeated back to a cellular base station for further processing. The more cell towers in an area, the faster and more reliable the network will be. Every cellular device is dependent on an antenna. These antennas are built into cell phones and mobile hotspot devices internally, but some mobile hotspot devices and cellular embedded routers have antenna ports which allow you to use a more powerful external antenna to get a better signal. External cellular antennas can be found in many machine-to-machine -machine applications. This could be anything from an ATM communicating with a bank computer to authorize cash distributions, or a sensor on a water tank communicating its level to a host computer. External cellular antennas are also very useful in mobile applications such as on boats, RVs, and public safety vehicles. Cellular antennas work by using radio waves to communicate with wireless devices. When a cell phone or other wireless device sends a signal to the antenna, that tower sends the signal to the nearest base station and then processes the signal and sends it to the appropriate destination. Likewise, when a signal is sent from the cellular network to a wireless device, the base station sends the signal to the nearest tower which then transmits the signal to the device. Cellular antennas use a variety of technologies to ensure that signals are transmitted and received efficiently. These technologies include directional antennas, which are designed to focus the signal in a specific direction, and omnidirectional antennas, which transmit the signal in all directions. Some hybrid antennas contain multiple antennas within the same enclosure that cover cellular, Wi-Fi, and GPS. The second thing you want to consider when choosing an antenna is the form factor. Typically, a higher gain antenna will be larger and designed for mounting on a rooftop. These antennas offer the best performance but are more expensive and harder to install. You might be able to get the same performance from a small modem mounted antenna, a screw mount low profile antenna, or a magnetic antenna. I hope this video has helped you better understand how cellular antennas work and should not replace proper electrical instruction. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. I'm Benson Rice and thanks for watching.